Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Today I will be talking about how to start a bullet journal. So firstly, what is a bullet journal and what is it good for? I saw one website define it as a third diary, a third planner and a third meditation and I think that really fits well. It's really great for mental health in terms of the meditation thing and also creativity. You can be so artsy in a bullet journal but then again it is also super productive and then works as a planner as well. One thing I think it does really well is combine all your to-do lists and notes in one place and for me particularly I think it combines creativity and productivity together. Bullet journals are great for people who need to be organised, perfect for students and I found mine really really useful for university. They also can be really quick and easy and great for beginners. I also think they're great for mental health because they're a really calm creative hobby. Okay so just quickly I want to talk about the issue of perfectionism in bullet journaling. So many people think they can't start bullet journaling because it's all about you know perfect art, perfect handwriting, perfect lines, perfect pages, perfect spreads. But I think two things, one it doesn't have to be and two bullet journaling actually helps you build those skills. So of course your first bullet journal pages won't be perfect. Mine just used highlighters and the spreads weren't great, but I learned what worked for me. I also found because I'm writing a lot more in my journal, I'm more comfortable with my handwriting and to me it looks a lot neater. I've also learned to do calligraphy, as you can see in my first journal compared to my most recent journal. Also artistically, I quite like my more recent themes because I have found my own style where I like to include scrapbook elements while at the start I was often just following popular trends and what I saw on Pinterest or YouTube. Although I will get into inspiration later in the video, but those can be really good places to look. I think in terms of perfection, the most useful quote I found is to work in your bullet journal, not for your bullet journal. So stressing about perfection really doesn't help you in any way. Now I want to talk about supplies that help you start bullet journaling. You really only need a notebook and a writing utensil to start bullet journaling. For my notebook, I really like the Limone Dotted Journal, which I've actually done a review on, so I'll link that up in the cards. And for my writing utensil, I mainly use a black pen. My favourite is the Uni Ball Jetstream. Some non-essentials that I think are great for beginners are coloured pens. For example, those four coloured pens are really great if you want to colour code or do little doodles. They're really easy, you probably already have one, and they're actually really great for bullet journals. Also highlighters, you probably already have a lot of these. My first bullet journal theme was actually done with a pastel stabilo highlighter, so I think they're really great and can come in really pretty colours. Also since you already have them, you don't want to put too much money into bullet journaling if you're just starting. Also stickers are great for beginners. If you're not confident in your art skills, they can be really nice to have pretty pictures which are already done for you. You can get these off Etsy, Amazon, but also there's probably some nice cheap ones you might have lying around or at local stores. Another thing I want to talk about in terms of supplies and art is minimal doesn't equal beginners and artsy doesn't equal advanced. You can stay minimal throughout your entire bullet journal journey and that's fine, you'll just get better at that style or you can jump in and be artsy straight away. People often think to have a good bullet journal, it often has to be artsy, which is entirely not the truth. I think something great about bullet journaling is you can incorporate your own hobbies into it. So if you're into art, why not draw and paint in your bullet journal? Or if you're into scrapbooking, you can put pieces of paper and washi tapes in. Also, you probably already have lots of photos of you with your friends or photos you've taken, which are great to put in your bullet journal. So now let's talk about setting up your bullet journal. I think my first video on this channel was setting up my bullet journal for 2020. I can link that, but it's probably not a very good video. But first, going back to basics. The bullet journal was popularized and invented by Ryder Carroll. He has his own style and it's very minimal and very practical and it works really, really well. I'll link his website down below where you can go through his spreads and his key ideas, which work really well for beginners. His spreads often include rapid logging, daily logging, and indexes. I don't personally use many of those, so as you can see, bullet journals can be really personalised. And as for setup and themes and art and anything really, it's just what works for you. But again, I'll have Ryder Carroll's website linked down below. My first spreads that I have in my current bullet journal are my key, my future log, my grid spacing, and mood boards. This is just what works for me. I also have tons of video ideas, meal ideas at the beginning before I get into my monthly setups. Going into detail in my key, I have a square box for a task. I have a square box with an arrow facing right for moving forward. This means to me if I'm moving it from a Monday to a Tuesday, I'll use that arrow. And I have a square box facing left for scheduled. This is if a task is in my to-do list and then I've allocated it to a day. In my first bullet journal, I used to tip off or cross boxes, but now I colour them in. So my completed task is a black box. This is as I often partially complete tasks and I want to recognise that I've put effort into it. I have done some, it's just not fully done. Therefore I have a half filled box which means partially complete. I then have an open circle for events. This can be class, meetings or even just going to the shops with friends. I then have a closed circle for notes I might want to put in my bullet journal. I don't use this often yet but I really want to use it more. I have an exclamation mark for inspiration. And then finally I have a star symbol for birthdays. The more spread ideas you might want to do in your bullet journal, I actually did a video on that. 
couple weeks ago, so I'll link that up in the cards. I think it's on that side. <laughs> but again, I really just want to say, especially for spreads, it is just whatever works for you. In my first bullet journal, I did a lot of spreads that I didn't end up using, but it's really good, especially in your first journal, to try everything out. And finally, I want to talk about where to get inspiration for your journal. Instagram is a great place to get inspiration for your journal. I have a saved folder on my Instagram where I save spreads I like and theme ideas. This is great because you can search and follow hashtags. Probably my favorite place to get bullet journal inspiration is Pinterest. The algorithm is great on there, it really tailors it to you. You can make boards and sections within those boards to divide up your inspiration and ideas. My Pinterest account is linked down below, but I will specifically link my bullet journal board. I've also done a video on different theme ideas, which I'll link up in the cards and down below. But I just want to say, just because monthly themes are popular doesn't mean you have to do them. I know lots of people, specifically in Facebook groups who don't do themes, will do a theme for one page or one spread, or some people like to stick with one colour for an entire year. It's honestly, again, just whatever works for you. I personally like to do monthly themes. Another really, really great place to get bullet journal inspiration is YouTube, of course. So some of my favourite bullet journal YouTubers are probably starting with the most famous one that you probably all know, Amanda Rachley. She does some really great themes and I think her spread ideas are great. Claudia Joseph also does really, really great videos. Her theme ideas are great and always so unique. Kat's Planner has really great videos. Her themes are always really, really cute and she's so artsy. I love Caitlin's Corners videos. They're so great. She does really minimal with a little bit of scrapbook elements, which is so cool. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, but I think her name's Pippa. So her channel's Pippa's Art, and she does really great art journaling and also just art videos, but her bullet journal videos are also really great too. Plant Based Bride has been one of my favourites since I started bullet journaling. Her themes are super artsy and she always has such unique ideas. So Study Quad does really good videos, especially for students on bullet journaling. I think she even has a book that's all for students about planning, journaling, etc. Journal with Chloe is really interesting. She does book journaling as well as bullet journaling, and I think she has like even more journals than that. Scrolling through her page, I think she has anime journals and stuff as well, but her themes are really, really cute. Strawberry Dreams does such cute videos, they're really just always like aesthetically pleasing and gorgeous. She also sells her own stickers and has great stationery recommendations. Mary Berry Studio is another great channel and she has such cute themes again, I loved her Animal Crossing theme especially. Cheyenne Barton also has really great videos, she's super artsy and does like draw with me and art vlogs as well, and her bullet journal is always so pretty. Justine Bujo is also great, again it's super aesthetically pleasing and she's a really nice ring binder style bullet journal. And finally you should also look at other YouTubers you already watch. I personally discovered bullet journaling from a vlog that a lifestyle YouTuber was doing and she talked about bullet journaling and I just searched it into YouTube, came up with her man Rachel and all those other things and that's how I got into it. So there are lifestyle YouTubers like Hayley Pham and Ono Nina, which are just some I watched and they show some of their bullet journal setups so you can see how people actually use them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about how to start a bullet journal, how I started bullet journaling, any inspiration or absolutely anything else, please comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe while you're here. So yeah, thank you again so much for watching.